Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on day four of leg two, riding the world by motorcycle. And already, already, we have got a debate going on about how long something that I suggested we should do to try to fix the monkey bike will last. But the plan for today, the plan for today, is to head over from Spain to Portugal to cross the border and get to pink my bike, where my bike will be being stored for about three weeks until I fly back to do the next leg of the adventure, if we can fix the bike and get everything sorted in time. But anyway, let's cue the intro. This adventure is supported by Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare, the number one garage keeping you and Helminghead on the road. See, what happened was yesterday, just as we got here, this came flying off the motorway in a ball of flames and landed. Uh, <laughs> Paul and Lee literally did, did some yeah. combat moves to go and retrieve yeah. it off of the motorway. I did the Jean Claude Van Damme uh, dismount? rolled across the motorway, um, recovered said piece. Um, the problem is, this this end can is made of Chinesium, and, um, oh, there's a GoPro, and uh, there was a hole in the bottom of it, for, to tighten, and basically a bolt went up through to tighten the baffle up, but it's worked loose, vibrated, and made the hole massive, um, and it's just the whole piece, of, the whole, all the metal in there is gone, so I got a bit of chemical metal which has been all around Europe for quite a while and it wasn't very good. But anyway, squidged it in, but it's still loose, so it's not going to last, it's going to come out. So really, it probably need another can, or we might be able to do something with it, but it's doubtful. Do you not think to save costs, if we just put duct tape, loads of duct tape all over it, it'll yeah, be fine? I don't see a problem with that at all. I reckon that's what we do. So what do you, how long, in your professional opinion, do you think... That's going to last? Yeah, how long? Um, I, I think we should have a little wager. I do. I, I'm going to say... Five miles. Paul, how long? Oh. I've, got, I've got faith in you, Lee. I'm going to go with seven. So we've got five, <laughs> we got seven. Now, being positive i'm going to say it's going to last all day and it's going to get all the way to pink my bike it's not going to come off again at least not for this leg but we'll see okay so today's plan we are here in aru de la encomenda something like that and we are just going straight there we've been googling the problem with ashworth and it's a little piece on the chain tensioner that deteriorates why they'd put a plastic piece in the end of it is beyond me and it means that why can't you second it is because it's pushing it too far that's something to do with second gear is it's catching it um, and worst case it's going to cause complete and utter like the came chain, to, came chain cam or whatever it is the chain in the cam to come loose slip a tooth screw my engine but there you go anyway we've got 193 kilometers to go and we're going to get to pink my bike for the awesome tour company where i'm going to be touring with them on the next leg and they're also going to be storing my bike this time at the end of that leg as well so they're probably looking after me and they've said they're going to get it sorted anyway um so hopefully with lee and them this will all be fixed everything will be done my baffling my exhaust I might have to put another end can on, it's just, it's, it's adding up as you could imagine. But anyway, we will get it sorted and back on the road is all that matters. I just got to, uh, just got to figure out how I'm going to pay for all this stuff as you could imagine. Um, but I'm not going to go on too much about that because I've just made a massive amount of life changes to free up some money to pay for this trip. So we will figure all that out. But today is 193 kilometres, we'll get to pick my bike. I can't wait, I cannot wait to see them. So we're going to cross the border just here. There may be um, there may be police there, there may be a border crossing, I have no idea because obviously we're in Europe and a lot of the time sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, so hopefully not, we can fly through that. Then we'll be into Portugal. So we would have gone France, Spain, Portugal, three countries on this leg. How cool is that? And then we're going to be going to pick my bike that are just there, bring us all the way in. 
and that's where they are. So we're going to go see them. So this is going to be cool. So we're going to just hack miles down, get there, come up with a plan, and know what's going on with this. And then I've still got another day, or at least a morning, potentially, I can uh, do stuff. As in, ride was my plan, but I'm going to see if I can get my hands on another bike or something. I do not want to spend a, a morning, or most of a day, with nothing to do. So you might have a tour video, if not, of me walking around pretending that I'm touring around the village. So right now, I've got to find my way back to the motorway because what we've got to do is hack down those miles. I'm hoping we'll get at least the 94 kilometres since we've got less than 100 to go before I stop again. And let's just get there. This is today's mission. Let's just get to ping my bike, get the plan put in place, have a little bit of a giggle with them and figure out what's going on. It's going to all work. So we're going to do hack the miles. Let's go. Well, we have not even done five miles. So whoever was five, I think it was Lee that said five miles, has just won the competition because my baffle, before even getting onto the motorway, has come flying off. It's probably a good thing because we've now got the baffle back. I think that's what Lee's doing. Is he's just pulled his bike over, done some kind of crazy somersault dismount and collected it, and then um, he's making his way back. Yeah, he got it. I'm gonna, just going to go and to go and collect it, I think, with this car to go. I'll tell you what. Nice Manson Hines system you got on there, sir. Well, I think you won the bet. Yeah. You said less than five miles. I'm just letting it cool. Yeah. Before I put it in my... Before I put it anywhere. Because it's, it's hot. Yeah, like me. It's not as hot as you, but it's hot. Special cargo going in the GS. As all the cheap parts that I bought fall off, because so far again it's still the bit I bought, the cheap part that's come off. Yeah. You reckon you're going to have enough room to put it on? Because as the rest of my cheap part of the exhaust well, might, might come off. As, as I'm running out of food. Yeah, you can put it, parts in. It's making more room for bits that fall off. Yeah. So yeah, as bits fall off, I'll just put them in there. Good. That's alright then. Yeah. We'll fucking have a big bus. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we've just pulled in for a personal needs break with the hedge. There is actually a pull in place just up there, but I saw this and like come off on this dirt track kind of road. But we are literally just under a hundred kilometers away now from Portugal. Hundred kilometers, not from Portugal, from Pink My Bike. We're not, we're not cross the border into Portugal yet. But from what I understand and what I've been told, the Portuguese people are the nicest people in the world. I'm looking forward to passing over into Portugal to go, these are all the nicest people in the world. But we're doing well. We are doing really, really well. I'm having to tailgate trucks to keep the speed up because I don't want to keep changing up and down gear. And we're sitting at around 100k an hour. Um, I don't know what that works. Somebody will tell me it's about probably 55 miles an hour or something. But it's working and we're getting there and everything's going well. The sun is beautiful, but it's still kind of a little bit chilly. But we're doing it, people. We are doing it. I'm like dead excited to get there, like over over the moon to get there, and I'm looking forward to getting a plan to fix Ashworth. But I'm also a little bit gutted because I've I've almost well I would have finished leg two, wouldn't I? That's leg two done. I've got another day to explore and stuff when we get there after this. Well, a morning ish day. So hopefully we'll get an I don't know hire a bike or do something. I don't know. We'll see how that pans out. But we're almost done leg two. Literally less than 100 kilometres, and I've reached my destination for this part so I'm gutted but excited it's weird it's weird but I am excited to get that sorted because I gonna we are gonna we're gonna fix it it'll be fine I had a little bit in my head going oh it's gonna be this and that forget the costs and just think leg two is done and we're not far then from starting leg three so it's all exciting anyway let's get back on the road let's crack on with the mileage let's see how far we get before I stop or get there but we're doing it. We are doing really, really well. It's, it's all good.
Well, we just stopped for a cheeky little bit of fuel and a coffee, 85 kilometers to go. I reckon we can bosh this out in true style. Lee's excited. Paul's doing some live stream over Facebook and I didn't realize he was doing it and I was, uh, I was, I was, I was doing rude gestures and things. And apparently it's not a good thing to do. Um, so we are now in that last, last chunk of mileage. So ladies and gentlemen, Let's get there. We'll see what happens at the border, because we've got to cross another border. But if it's a drive-by through, I think we just now hammer this all the way, all the way to pick my bike. They've just messaged me to say they're going to plan to meet us at the border at 3 p.m. But um, I think we're going to be there before then. So we're going to get there. Poor old Ashworth's gone through enough today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Portugal. Well, we have made it all the way to pick my bike. We're going to come up with a plan for the bike. We've just grabbed a few photos. But look, the pink monkey bikes are there. How cool is that? So can I get you to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Ron. And this is your business? And this is, and this is uh, my business with, uh, with my partners. Uh, we, are, we are three. And uh, the love from the motorcycles comes. And uh, yeah, the best motorcycles to, uh, to, and to, to have. Them. Tiny you're, and you're about to look after me. And yes. Sort this out. Yeah, we're gonna fix. Uh, try to fix your uh, second gear as well. Yeah. Change the oil. And uh, try and fix exhaust. If he leaves us. <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't want. Doesn't want yeah. it to happen. And then yeah, what see. we're gonna do next somebody, is we're... somebody else is gonna touch his his, uh, his engine. <laughs> yeah, let's, see. let's see. Then what we're gonna do next? We're gonna put uh, Ashworth in there, and we're gonna jump on some of your bikes. Yes. And go and grab some lunch. Yes. And then tomorrow I can take one and get some filming as well yes, on. Yes. So it's not over yet. That's the best bit. So we're gonna go and do that. We're gonna push this. We'll put this away jump on a pink five-speed monkey and go and get some lunch. Well, just like that, we've turned up. We've had a few seconds with Jose. Jose? I can't say his name already, bless him. But the guy from Pink My Bike, and he's uh, he's gone. You eaten? No? Do you want a steak? Yes. We'll take the pink monkey bikes? Yes. So we're all just gone from our big bikes. That feels different to ride because it's so light. On to pink monkey bikes. How cool is this? Oh, that's smooth. Oh, and I bet second gear works as well. <laughs> oh, 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 this is cool. This is so cool. How, look. Obviously, you can just go for a tour on these in Portugal and turn up at, obviously, pink my bike. But this is cool. This is next level cool. And I can't believe we're going for steak. Oh, this is so different to riding mine because obviously there's no weight on it. You can chuck it around everywhere. It just, just nice. I will say my suspension is definitely better, but oh yeah. And this is cool. Lee, Mr. Ashworth riding a pink monkey bike. Paul riding a pink monkey bike. I can't pronounce Jose. We're gonna call him Dave. Dave from Pink My Monkey Bike from now on is uh yeah pink my monkey bike is uh is now dave and his dad actually is one who's leading us his dad's turned up and uh he's actually leading us to where we're going what they've said is is they'll take us to the village a little quick whip around because it's a pretty village then we'll stop and uh, have some food but yeah this is feels like a different bike altogether but it's nice to be on an un an unmolested monkey bike because it's all yeah, it's all different because I've been going along with massive, massive noise and massive, you know, built up. And I must say, obviously, Ashworth is massively smooth. Whoa, it's just pokey. This is pokey. I reckon I've lost weight and I've got skinny, you see. And it's nothing to do with all the overweight and loaded kit I've put on Ashworth. Because this feels like a little pocket rocket. 
<laughs> so I've also had a chat obviously about tomorrow because I do have all of tomorrow and then um, they're gonna they're gonna drive me to where I'm staying and at the airport because I actually fly back the next day it doesn't really make sense so they're gonna lend me a pink monkey tomorrow so we can have a little bit of a fun tour around on it some more but hey if you're coming to Portugal and you want to go on a tour and you want to go on something really cool and different but also have the pleasure of a monkey bike everything's there isn't it gleaming pink and I've got to say it rides so well let's do a little bit of overtakey look at that they are they feel really nippy I forget I forget how nippy it felt with uh, no weight on it at all and they've got this haven't they this really cool kind of i, f I get why they've gone pink monkey because it's got that kind of cool gimmicky kind of sound to it and listen to the exhaust now obviously even with mine without any any kind of um well you know without the baffle wind and baffle in it it was nice and it had that roar look how peaceful and quiet it feels again it's like a nice pleasure isn't it just zips along perfect quietness coolness of the pink monkey oh i might have to fly back and do an actual you know do a proper tour with them on them just to have even more of an experience let alone i'm about to come back and do the tour come back and do some more but this is really cool really cool this is very cool pink monkeys in portugal has just put the biggest smile on my face how awesome now we're trying to come up with a plan in regards to ashworth and sorting ashworth out lee doesn't want anyone to touch it at all the uh, pink pink my bike guy said that they can take it to a dealership and get it sorted for me while i'm away and get some bits everything done but we're going to try and see if we can possibly get to a garage or a dealership that will let lee start working on it we will see well what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and enjoy some nice steak with our new friends get to know them better talk about the awesomeness of the journey and we'll uh, go from there but what a great day portugal ladies and gentlemen portugal here we are so we brought the helmet head lee and paul to uh, gimonde in bragança we came to steak to a nice big steak in uh, um, in gimonde this is a quite picturesque uh, town in uh, in bragança because uh, he maintained the, the the buildings. The buildings are still original from the 1800s. The restaurant is also uh, made on uh, made on stone from the old days. Yeah, it was quite nice. Well, we've just had the most amazing steak in the world. Now, I don't normally eat steak because I've kind of gone off it, but that was amazing. But Joao, if I'm saying this correctly, because I've tried to say his name about 10 times, I've also nicknamed him Dave, has just literally paid for us all to have that amazing steak. I mean, how nice is that? We've turned up, <laughs> my bike's broken. He's got no problem, we'll sort it. He's trying to sort it out now so we can go to a dealership and fix the bike literally now. It's crazy. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. But lending us pink bikes behind us is just absolutely incredible so we're going to go and grab a couple of uh, pictures but what what a welcome what a welcome to portugal how just amazing that they are and um, we're going to now head back on the pink monkeys as well and we're going to go and grab some beers and stuff so uh it will continue but i really like these pink bikes i'm already like oh do i get another bike standard bike for home as well I don't know, I don't know, but ping my bike, what a welcome, thank you so, so much. 
right, I'm going to pull the bikes out the front of this place. I'm going to grab a picture for either Facebook or Instagram, but I am having the time of my life. Okay, so after that amazing say, can you come in? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, that's his dad, so I had to say goodbye to his dad because I didn't think he spoke any English because he was really quiet and then suddenly during the meal he just spoke English. It was awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh, you speak English? Um, so we've just been offered to uh, do, would we like to stretch the beans of the pink monkeys? And we're all like, yes, we do. So we're going to have a little bit of a giggle now and have a bit of fun. Well, I've got to say, I know I've already said it, but they're right. The hospitality of the Portuguese is better than anywhere I've ever been. How lovely. You just paid for us to have that steak. He's now said, do you want to open up? Do you have some fun? And I think it's because I said, ah, oh, it's it's hard for me to go uh, slow because obviously he's leading us. And I'm all we got to this point where it's like, no, 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 I want to give it some. And he's like, okay, okay. So you want to go in front? I was like, yes, I want to go in front. So yeah, are you ready for a helmet head? Now I've already said to him, uh, we showed him Paul's uh, trip up the peasant's ramp um, earlier on. And because we showed him the trip up the peasant's ramp, I said to him, I was obviously a trained stunt rider. And he says, oh, okay, so you want to give it the uh. -oh. And I went, yeah, I want to give it the uh. -oh. So I'm going to give it the uh. -oh, and I'm going to show you it. Just think, you could come back, hire this, hire this, right? And ride exactly the same bike as I've just ridden. So take note back in the video which number I've ridden and come back and say, can I ride that one? And then say, that's Helmet Head's bike. Helmet Head's pink monkey bike. When you book, go, I want to ride the same bike Helmet Head rode and then send me a picture because that <laughs> that would have to be all over the socials that's it this is helmet heads pink monkey bike now that's, that would be called that forever and then you can say i've ridden a lord motorcycle in portugal that's proper cool right i'm gonna now skip to giving it beanage right beanage 71 kilometers an hour that's 70 that's nothing to do with just eating steak right so we uh, accelerate some more and tuck in oh yes let's do them let's do them we're doing them we're doing them we're doing them slow ah we're doing them slow we're gonna tuck in we're gonna tuck in <laughs> Who's behind me? Lee's behind me! No! Lee's not beating me, we're going for it. Oh, I love I love a monkey because it literally rocks your world. Go back, go slap, slap, slap! Pedal! 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 Come on baby, let's go! <laughs> go! Talk in! It's gonna do me! It's gonna do me! No! Come on monkey, go! No! <laughs> He's doing me! He's done me! Oh, he's done me! Oh, he's proper done me! Oh no! Oh no! Faster! 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 Here we go! Next gear! Next gear! Come on! Come on! Engage supersonic mode! Come on! Yes! <laughs> go! 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 Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> and I'm doing him! Thank you very much. No one ever beats the Lord. It's not happening. You might touch it, you might think about it, but long term rules say you were never going to do it. And I'm doing him. So he's like 10 meters back now. There's only one Lord Helmet Head. It's done. Oh, there you say. When you're a trained stuntman like myself and you've done in such big films like 69er and proved your madness, no one can beat you. It's simple. Oh, I've got a sweat on, I'm so excited. Do you keep pressing the horn? I did then. Is you horny? Yeah, always horny. You know what we need to do? Drag, we need <laughs> Lee, oh. drag race. Drag race? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Steady, go. No, that's cheating. He's cheated! Pink My Monkey Bikes are as much fun as you could possibly, possibly do. And this is Portugal. And this already 
is a country that I love. What a ride it is to get your hands on one of these. What a ride. Here we go. This is the moment. Yes! <laughs> so we've just drive back at Pink My Bike after an unbelievable couple of hours. I'm still grinning here from here. Now behind the scenes, the rest of the boys that run Pink My Bike could be making phone calls to try to arrange so we can fix my monkey now. But we don't think there's a part we don't know. We're about to go to a local garage where there's another mechanic and hopefully we can talk about getting Ashworth fixed. Lee's itching, itching to get on the tools himself. So we'll see how it pans out, but they are working their butt off to make this happen. So I am just, I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Right, we're going to the local mechanic. Let's just see what happens. I'll be shocked if we get it done today. Big dog, big dog, big dog, big dog, loud bike. Hello, mate. Hello. So we've come to a local garage with Pink My Bike and they've got the tool we believe that we need, but we need to part. So now we're about to go to a Honda garage that's not yet a Honda garage to see if we've got the part. So it's looking it's looking slim, but the guys at the garage are all up all up for helping out and getting it done. So we might get the second gear thing fixed today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But they're all talking and translating and it's it's looking promising. 50-50. Let's go to go 50-50. Well, we've arrived at the Honda KTM something, something, something garage. See if they've got a part. It's getting hard because in second gear, we're going at low speed through here. I'm trying to get into third. It's, it's like it doesn't want to get into third. So it's going, and you're trying to get up as quickly as you possibly can. But we're still hopeful. We're still hopeful. We are hopeful we're going to get this part. But they've got a Dax over there in the window. That's quite cool. Um, thank, thank, thanks to Pink My Bike guys because he's translating and running around like crazy and his name is, Paul's going to help, help me with this, it's Joao. And Joao is doing his absolute best. Look, it's not actually a Dax, it's something else, but anyway, none of that matters. Let's just hope, let's hope we can get a part. If not, we'll sort it. One way or another, we'll sort it, it'll all be good. We're rolling, right, okay, take three. Now, let's just take one, we're going to do it once. Right, this place, this Honda dealership, have now ordered the, the warbling grommet that goes on the end of the giggling shaft. It's like a little plastic rubber button. Um, it's actually called a push rod, but it, in effect, it's like a tiny little round um, grommet piece of plastic, basically. It sits on the end of the cam chain um, tensioner. Well, there's like a, a hydraulic cam chain tensioner and it wears out which lets the cam chain tensioner slacken off they've ordered one for us for three euros something um, their labor rate is only 30 something euros an hour which is cheap um, so we've ordered it it'll be a Thursday we're gonna go back to Dave's shop he's not called Dave but he is now um, I want to take the cover off because even though we haven't got a puller to take the flywheel off, I want to because the flywheel sits like that, and the tensioner is behind the flywheel, so you can't do the job without taking the flywheel off. But I just want to have a look, take the casing off, and have a look and see if we can see so that we know 100% that it is that little thing. Because if we book it in for them to do this job, and it turns out it isn't that then we got more issues. So the plan now is to go back to the garage I went to before, so Lee can take it off just to check that that's the right part. Either way, that garage has got it ordered and it's gonna come in here in three days time to get sorted, unless something changes. And we get the oil changed while it's in there and I'll get the exhaust sorted. So this is all going massively according to plan. It's all good, Lee's gonna have a look. We're gonna confirm it's part, but what I need what I really, really need is a beer. <laughs> I just want a beer. Well, I tell you what, what a day this is becoming and it's still not over yet. What's happened is, is that um, I've been given the keys to pink my bike so I can take my bike back there and, and store it. Lee wants to take off the cover and check the part. So we're gonna go back there, meet there, and we're gonna take the cover off and have a look. So just to quick recap, the part with to do with the gear grinding in second on the cam chain, has been ordered and in three days it will be fitted with just a few more checks but 
what I've decided to do is come and book in at the hotel. Now this hotel was recommended to me by Pink My Bike um, because when I said, they said to me, oh, do you want to stay somewhere that's within walking distance to meters for beers? And I went, yes. I went, well, this is the place to stay. So it's a little, because it's like, basically it's like a, a British sort of town, like a busy town. It's very, very busy with bars and everything along the front. Um, so this is like a small hotel, like down like an alleyway. Um, and when I arrived in the hotel, um, I said to the guy, is there anywhere I've got a little motorbike, anywhere I can go, because I was out on the main road and there's no parking. He says, yes, just bring it, bring it, bring it to the door. And I was like, are you sure? Because there's like bars and stuff. They went, yes, yes, you park it there, it'll be fine. So I rode it past all these bars with people with the exhaust, because the baffles out going, bah, and they're all looking at me like I'm insane. I pull up and some guy comes up and goes, he goes, you, you're monkey bike from, 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 from England? And I was like, yeah, and he was like, oh, high five, man. And instantly I just go, you know, nobody moaned, that's what I got, a high five. So that's really, really cool. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this room and the price, I'll tell you exactly where I am, I'll show you on the map as well. And then we're going to jump back on the bike and we're gonna ride it around there and then Leeds Cabbies play. I wanna end this video with a ka of beers with everyone tonight, that's my plan. So let me give you a very quick tour. It's a small room, but it's perfect. So this is Hotel Baxia, if I got it right, and I will show you on the map, don't worry. Twin room, somewhere to edit, somewhere to dump a lot of my stuff, including a second bed to dump my stuff on. Also, a nice little bathroom with everything that I need, soap on the wall, it's perfect. This is, this is, this is perfect. So where we are is just here in a place called Bragancia and I'm gonna say all that wrong. And obviously our hotel is just here. Pink My Monkey Bike is just literally up the road from here. So it's, it, it's 150 meters or something it said, but I had to go obviously around the one way system. So uh, this is what I'm gonna do is head off, obviously go back to Pink My Bike, start stripping it down. But as you can see, it's quite a busy place. So it's getting dark outside, but we've come back to Pink My Bike. My bike is gonna be stored inside there for now until I come back and obviously we ride it on the next leg but Lee is literally we're having to tilt the bike to hold it to take the cover off to make sure it's the part that's needed and we're doing that now and then we will finally at the end of all this get to Kaching a beer and finish the video but we'll just get Lee taken off the part looking all sexy doing his thing and hopefully confirm that that's the part because if it is it's on order and we are sorted right if you look down there see this piece that I'm touching here yeah that's the cam chain tensioner, okay? Yeah. Now look at the very end of it there. Can you see it's a bit bird? Yeah, I can see it. And see this here? That's the second gear. That's second gear. Now if you watch when I move the gear selector, see it moving? Yeah, I can see it. So basically, the actual tensioner arm itself is touching the gear. Will that be that bit of plastic though, that on the end? <laughs> if it's deteriorated a little bit. I I don't know without taking the flywheel off. Right, I'm going to suggest because we haven't got um, any uh, margin for error basically or time, time isn't on our side. I'm going to suggest we buy the timing chain tensioner itself with the little plastic or rubber bit on the end of it that pushes against the arm, and we buy the arm as well. The arm is damaged where it's been hitting the gear, but it's only a bit bird on the end. But, and that could be filed down, but cover all angles, a new arm, new tensioner, and the little button, black bit, oh, I can't say that, I swear. Um, the bit that goes on the end, buy all three things. Um, so if we do that, we'll have a little debate in a minute whether we buy that from the place I know in the UK and send it over. And then that garage that we went to earlier today, um, we can tell them what to do. Um, and they take this off, hoping that they've got the pulley to pull the flywheel off, and then they do the job. And they said it was about 30 or 35 pounds an hour, I think they said. No, it was 35, it's 35, euros. 35 euros an hour. <coughs> Excuse me, which is cheap. Very, very cheap. It's like half the price of the UK at least. A um, couple of hours, at the most, including changing the oil, that, that should be done. We're going to be good again. Yeah. So Lee, my mm. big question is, mm. most of all, yes. how hard is it now to let anybody fix it when you 
literally could just do this in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. The thing is, people are going to think I'm talking nonsense just for um, YouTube-ness. You are attached to this bike as much but as me I, now. I don't, I, I, I genuinely don't want anyone touching it. I know that was probably really stupid and whatever, I don't know. But well, yeah, it I'm, is I'm a called funny. Ashworth, isn't it? I'm for a reason. Yeah. It's hard to let someone else do it, but... Yeah. There's nothing you can do. I know. Well, there is something I can do. I could order the bit, send them over, and then... ride over myself. Or, if we came here, instead of going to where we're going, and fix it here and then we go, but oh, obviously we're in the wrong sport. place, they'd have to put the bike in the van on us. Unless you come early and go back. Unless I came early. We'll I talk about that myself. off camera. We'll talk, we'll about, talk off about camera. Off camera but, but I can see it. I see you want to do I'm it. I'm really struggling, genuinely. <laughs> no, just I can about. see it. I'm genuinely struggling. Because why? Don't get me wrong, this sounds... I've got a garage myself, obviously, but I'm not slagging off garages, because most garages are fine. And once you've got a reputation with that garage and you're a regular customer in that garage, most people will look after you. But there are the odd one that yeah. might be like, oh, yeah, no, it needs this, it needs that, it needs everything you can think of, it's going to be £2,000. I don't know. Um, yeah. It's hard, isn't it? I just want to do it myself, really. So after all of this and taking it apart, we've now come up with a, a massive cool plan. Basically, Lee's gonna go and order the parts. He's gonna somehow get the tools. We're gonna organize it all. But the guys at Pick My Monkey are going to, Pick, Pick My, my bike. bike, are going to bring the bike a day early because we fly in actually a day earlier than the tour that we've got on the third leg. And then what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna fix it outside the hotel and it's all gonna be done. Sorry That's to fine. interject on your video, but when he says we, he means me. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Oh, I'll be drinking coffee. Yeah. Because it's up yeah. morning and he'll yeah, be fixing it. So we're going to fix the whole bike and everything's going to be done and it's all sorted. But what we need to do now is go and have a beer and do a cha-ching to end this entire crazy episode. So let's go and do that. So to finish today, because there's still another episode coming tomorrow, so it's going to be epic. But just to finish the day, after a long, crazy day... We're all going to go ka-ching all together. So we've got the pink, pink my bike boys. We've obviously got Lee and we've got Paul and we've got Mim. We're all going to do it together. So ka-ching, ka-ching. And we'll see everybody, to Cheers, see everybody tomorrow in the next crazy, crazy episode. Cheers.